वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन टूडे वी गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एवरेज ड्रिफ्ट वेलॉसिटी सो हैव अ लुक ऑन दी स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्टिकुलर नोमेरिकल ए कॉपर वायर हैव एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन टेन रेज टू पार माइनस टू मीटर स्क्वायर इज कैरिंग ए करंट ऑफ वन पॉइंट सिक्स एम पेयर गिवन दैट द करंट इज ड्यू टू फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड नंबर ऑफ डेंसिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज टेन रेज टू पार ट्वेंटी थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स पर सेंटीमीटर क्यू Calculate the average velocity, average drift velocity. So for that, first of all, have a look what is given. We know that charge on electron and uh, cross section of area is given, and density of electron is also given. So we are going to find out average drift velocity. So as we know that drift velocity is denoted by j. now drift velocity can be defined as current per unit area that means the value of current is given in this statement with the help of ampere we know that ampere is unit of current that's why i'm writing 1.6 ampere area of cross section will be 10 raised to power minus 2 meter square so it will be 1.6 Into ten raised to power two ampere in denominator. That's why I'm writing meter per square, right? Also, we know that the relation of current density with velocity, that is, total number of electrons, charge on electron, and into velocity. So we know that according to this statement, n is given. n means number of density electron which is given that will be 10 raised to power 23 electron per centimeter cube if this is per centimeter cube first of all we break the unit of meter instead of centimeter so as we know that 1 meter is equal to 100 cm that means 3 into 2 is equal to 6 so for that we write 10 raised to power 23 into 10 raised to power 6 electron per meter cube electron per meter cube or you can say that 10 raised to power 29 meter per cube right so as we know the charge on electron will be 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb so therefore we going to find out average drift velocity by this relation so when we find average drift velocity for that v is equal to current density divided by number of electron into charge on electron so when we substitute the value of these terms over here so it will be j we calculate that is 1.6 10 raised to power 2 ampere per meter square the value of n we calculated that is 10 raised to power 29 per meter cube charge on electron is 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb now we know that one thing is ampere is equal to coulomb per second first of all i am breaking these units so it will be 1.6 into 10 raised to power 2 coulomb per second per meter square as it is i am just Break the unit of amperes, that is coulomb per second. In denominator, I am writing one point six into. Now, have a look. I am going to solve this part very carefully. So, first of all, I am writing one point six as it is. Here we same base are same, right? 10 raised to power 29 into 10 raised to power minus 19. So 29 minus 19 will be 10. So I'm writing 10 raised to power 
meter per cube into coulombs now these factors cancel with each other coulomb also break with coulomb only one part is left so we have again base same so power can be subtracted it will be 10 raised to power minus 8 why i am writing minus because denominator i am higher order term in numerator that's why i am writing 10 raised to power minus 8 meter per second so this is the value of average velocity right hope it is clear to all thank you